how I even today I'll be showing you how to install the Oxygen OS on the OnePlus. It has been finally released after many many delays and everything. And this is my friend's OnePlus One and it is running Oxygen OS. As you can see it's a lollipop version and the never settled thing is the background and you can see there are so many options to actually customize everything uh, and you can check the details of the OS over here in the about phone thing uh, it's a 5.0.2 and oxygen version is 1.00 and that's the thing and let us start with the installation process I will be using my phone to install the oxygen OS I'm running the stock CM12S and I had installed TWRP on my phone. Uh, that's the recovery which I'll be using to flash the Oxygen OS. And if you if you had if you had not installed TWRP, I'll be posting you the link in the bottom area in the description below for uh, uh, for installing the recovery on your phone. So I started the process. Uh, first, you need to go to the browser and uh, need to go to this this web address which is. Oh, one plus dot net slash oxygen OS and then once you go to that you'll be getting options about like installation guide and the download option download the OS yeah you scroll it will take a while to download it's about 700 MB in total yeah it's showing one hour left yeah. I had already downloaded the file, I'll be showing you that, it's in my internal thing, once you download that, yeah, this is the file, use some file explorer to actually extract the downloaded file, I'll be using ES explorer which I had installed, to install ES explorer you need to go to play store, Go to Play Store and install any file browser such as ES Explorer or something. ES Explorer. Yeah, as you can see, I had already installed it previously. Once you install it, open the file manager and this is the oxygen OS is over here yeah, that's the oxygen OS, open that and then you'll be finding you'll be having a folder extract that to, any, uh, uh, to your root or any other destination remember the destination where you're going to extract that and then yeah I'll be, put, I'll be putting it as uh, choose path and I'll be putting it in the root folder which is SD card thing and once it gets extracted, you'll be having two files in that. One's the flashable zip file, which you can directly flash it using the WRP. Mm, for easily getting into your recovery. A recovery the the TWRP recovery you can enable this thing. Go to settings and then go to developers or develop. Yeah, some some people who doesn't have the developer option to enable that you need to go to about phone, and then keep keep, keep clicking on the bill number eight times. If you keep keep clicking, clicking the bill number eight times, you'll be getting the developer options. You know here go to developer options and enable the advanced reboot uh, reboot thing. You need to check that to get a tick mark over there. And once you enable that, you can actually reboot your phone directly using the power button. Keep clicking the power button, you'll be getting an option called reboot. Click reboot and then you'll be getting options like uh, reboot, soft reboot and recovery. Click on the reboot thing and then click OK. This will take you to... This will take you to the recovery thing that which is TWRP. If you haven't installed TWRP, you can check the description below for the installation guide of the recovery thing, TTM in recovery project thing. That's the recovery which I'll be using to flash the zip file which I had extracted right now. Yeah, it has booted to the recovery thing. Now go to click install. Uh, click. You need to wipe everything like the system and everything.
to get less number of errors when you install Office Linux at once and then except for the internal storage, do not wipe the internal storage that will delete all your photos and everything, except that check each and every other thing, remove the internal storage and click on the crash and as there is no USB OTG attached to your phone you can actually delete that also but except that delete everything, if there are every other thing, do not please do not check the internal storage if you check that you delete all your internal things such as photos and everything and the zip file which you have just downloaded is also in the internal storage so once you do that swipe this thing to wipe everything and then go go to the back option go back and then go back again and then go click on the install option which is over here and then go to the oxygen OS which is in the SD card which I started over here and you'll be having a folder called oxygen OS so you have just I J K L M N O yeah go to that oxygen OS thing so see yeah click on that thing and you'll be having the yeah, oxygen one point uh, underscore one point double underscore flash we'll click on that and then swipe it to flash it It will take a while, it will take around 5 minutes to install, or maybe less than that. Hold on to your seats. Yeah, it will take a while, extract everything and then flash each and everything directly without using the system. Uh, if you think the video has helped you, please click on the thumbs up, thumbs up with the like, the like button at the corner of the video. And if you want any of my future updates from my channel on the YouTube wall, please click the subscribe option which is all there. I uh, wait for that. Yeah, I'll be back once the whole process is done. Yeah, as you can see the whole process is done and you get options like white, cache, dialic and reboot system and the whole thing is done. Yeah, you can actually wipe the cache for uh, for not getting any errors of the installation process. You need to swipe to that and then go back and then click on the reboot system thing which is over here. And it will be asking you whether you want to install the super SU or not. Which is actually, it will actually root your phone. If you want the root thing, you can actually root it by just swiping this and you'll be getting an option over there showing that I want to root my phone, so I'll be, uh, yeah, I'll be swiping this. If you don't want to get any root option, click do not install. I want root option, so I'll be swiping this thing. Yeah, it'll do its magic. And reboot. And that's the Oxygen OS logo, boot logo thing, boot screen. And it's quite good looking actually. Yeah, it is upgrading, it'll take a while, it'll take around like two to three minutes to upgrade.
Yeah, it will really take a while. Sorry for that. Daddy is finishing the boot, you need to set up your phone, it will be asking uh, the language thing, Pre select your preferred language and then connect it to your Wi-Fi. I yeah, will put the credentials and I will be back. Yeah, it is checking the connection, I'll do everything. Take a while. Yeah, it is a time taking process for the first time when you're doing everything. Yeah, it will ask you whether you want to put the soft keys or uh, the inbuilt keys. I will be using the soft soft keys which is at the bottom. I will not be using the software button so you can leave that chat there and go to my... Yeah, these are the things. You get an option to actually double tap to wake or you get the other gestures. I will be disabling all the other gestures which I which you don't use normally and they actually are a hefty thing because sometimes when I put it in, I put it in a phone, the flash rate will, flash rate will be toggled and the whole battery gets drained. I don't want to take any risk about that and then click next. And then the setup is complete. Your oxygen OS is installed. Yep. And if you want to root your phone, connect, connect your phone to any of the Wi Fi access points, I'll be putting the credentials and I'll be back. As you can see my phone is connected to the Wi-Fi now we need to click the option which you get over here. Super SU installer, click tap on that. And then click the TWRP thing because I'm having a TWRP custom recovery to download the files required for that. Yeah, it is downloading. So this is this will actually root your phone directly without going to your system and everything. This is the easiest process, yes yeah, you can ask me. If you ask me this is the only easiest process which is available without you can actually you don't have to use a computer to root your phone there. Your phone can be rooted directly. And then click continue, it will reboot and it will go to the TWRP recovery and do the remaining things and it will root your phone direct. Yeah, your phone is now rooted. 
and check that by going to the super SU RPG over here. And no thanks. Your phone's rooted and you're running the OnePlus One's Oxygen OS. What else do you need? I'll be updating my my channel with the new videos when the CM12S finally comes out. And if you want to get any of my future updates, please do subscribe to my Tech Fortress channel. Thank you people and goodbye.